Jesus name we pray every satanic prophecy concerning my life scatter by fire in the name of Jesus scatter the satanic prophecies just thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray Amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. This morning, by the grace of God, we're looking at what I call the master coach. The master coach. In Psalm 144. Psalm 144. Are we there? Say at the Psalm 144. Verse 1. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teacheth my hands to walk, and my fingers to fight. If you find that scripture, can you read it loud and clear? Can you read it again? So God is a teacher of war and of fighting. He teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight note that scripture in the book of Luke chapter 22 Luke 22 verse 16 verse 31 Luke 22 31 And the Lord said Simon Simon Simon, Simon. Simon. Behold Sawo. Satan had desired Satan to have you Latin neo. that he may sift you as wheat Ki ole kuo bi ale kama. Say, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Point number one. To be made this money, which you must understand very well. Whether you believe it or not whether you like the sound of it or not whether you understand it or you don't understand it whether it's clear to you or it's not clear to you there is a war on. there is a battle going on a battle between light and darkness between the right and the wrong and that battle is being waged in our world today the war is a very serious matter it goes beyond conflict between nations it goes beyond conflict between tribes 
it goes beyond conflict between government leaders it is not even a rebellion or a coup it is an invisible battle taking place in the spirit realm we have read Psalm 144 verse 1 we have read Luke 22 31 Psalm 144 verse 1 says it teaches my hands to war and my fingers to battle and Luke 2 20, 20, 31 he told Peter Peter, the devil wants to deal with you, but I prayed for you. These take us to some hard facts about our master coach. Every man will fight his own battle. And whether you believe it or not, you are actually in the battle now. Whether you are fighting or not is another story whether you are fighting or not is another story but you are actually in a battle now and one disaster that could happen is this is for the enemy to declare themselves to be soldiers while you declare yourself as a civilian those demons told Jesus we are legion so they, they, they were using military terminology they agreed that they were soldiers but if they are now fighting somebody who is a civilian the civilian had no chance the first hard fact about our master coach is that God does not save everybody from trouble every time God does not save everybody from trouble every time it does not two he will sometimes save some while he empowers some to fight he will save some some he will empower and commit them to fight point number three is that those that he commits to fight are those he trusts in, in their ability to do the fighting now trust in their ability to do the fighting and to enlarge their own coast because God is a master coach God knows how to train his people a lot of people make this I don't know why I'm going through this I don't know why I'm going through this I don't know why the battle is so hot God will not be a good coach if you should shield you away every time you have a challenge because no matter the qualification of a trainer no matter the qualification of a of a coach no boxer will get a title from training ground it's not in the training ground they are going to give you world, world heavyweight champion no the man has to train you behind the scene then push you to the battle front to go there and enlarge your coast there are some who will never become useful until there is a battle against them so no matter the qualification of the trainer no matter the 
no matter how good your coach is you will not get a title by merely staying at the training ground the territory you possess through battles the territory you possess through the battles you won will last longer than any gift somebody gives to you what you earn is more and it's yours but what you, they just give to you like that is less jesus said to peter jesus we from peter simon 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 said behold Satan has desired to have you Satan that he may sift you as wheat. That's what Satan wanted to do to Peter. How did Jesus respond to this? Did he save Peter from the fight? No. Rather, he simply told him, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. That is what he did to Peter was to strengthen him. To strengthen him so that he will go and do the fighting. The natural man will complain. This is not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, but he was following the man. Why didn't the man help him? But Jesus saw the glory that was going to come out of the confrontation Peter was going to have. He found that Peter was going to come out stronger. Even stronger than he was before. And I said, When you have changed, you will now be promoted now to strengthen. Your brethren. So the master coach did not turn down Satan that was challenging Peter. So you know, I call him up by I call it on calling you. He prepared Simon for the conflict. After that, Peter was going to be promoted herein lies the trouble of many who come to the house of God the Bible says many many are the afflictions of the righteous many plenty the righteous can be afflicted so, but God Will deliver him from them all he will keep all his bones so that not one is broken but if he just if any battle you face god just takes it away any battle you just takes it takes it away, take away you will be a weakling and you will be able to fight when the time of fighting comes when they bring you a challenger and you deal with that one they bring another one you deal with that one if they go and bring a lesser person that you have dealt with you just dismiss that one easily I pray that there will be somebody here this morning who will catch this fire and receive strength to fight if you want to be a good student of the master coach what do you do you want to be a good student in the military school of the almighty a fantastic student in the military school of the almighty the first thing god wants you to do is to get born again you must be born again new birth he beat it too. The Bible says, Whosoever is in Christ has become a new creature. It didn't say refurbish creature. It didn't say a creature that said, Well, 
God save you today that uh, is not uh, is not the old me you met at home you will have seen pepper. Ki se ja to ba so pe Olorun yu ele ni to ba je pe mi ni gba kan ri lo ba lu wo ba ti n ba foju e won ba bo. You don't know me o. Oh mommy o. You don't know me at all. Oh mommy ra ra. I'm a green snake under the green grass. Ah mo je ni ti ma n fara ka mo lopolopo. Not those kind of people. Ki se ru fe ni. Whosoever is in Christ. E ni ke n to wa ninu Christ has become a new creature. O ti de e da ti tun. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. When you get born again, all things go away from your life. And you become new. Those who have seen you before, they will say, ah, it's so so and so. And bye bye. So no, it's not her. I know. He says this person. Mono only because your life has been completely rearranged. Sorry, I too told her what to what day by year. Listen to me very well, beloved. Eh, just cut this little loop, eh? When the Bible says you must be born again. Nick, but you pay so cool. Let it be a tumbi. The original Greek says you must be born from above. Nino, the Greeky, oh, too much. You pay. I let it be. Let it okay. You born, born, born again means born from above. Let it be a tumbi. Too much. You pay. Let it be. Let it okay. All things are passing. Away. Those who are born again, they don't steal. I want to watch it to be more interested. They don't keep money. They don't commit fornication. They don't commit adultery. All those people who are coming to the house of God and they are still living in the adultery, they are seeing their fornication, they are just part of those polluting the house of God and they are anointing the place. I want to one was in the alarm to want to test what you knew about Panshaka. I was very well at your own. I said, Bow on it. Oh, to watch any way, walk on down to Lucille. Once in Muir, I buy the alarm. Once in Boo, if you're going to one bed, one day they are not born again. What did they are to be? So you need to find Jesus. So you know, not what Jesus You need to be able to say the things I used to do, I do them no more. That is the admission letter into the school of God. The military school of the Almighty will not admit anyone who is not born again. Because you need a foundation of new birth for God to put other things on top of it. The second thing you need. Okay, you want to be a good student of that school. You need to have a divine encounter. Oh, yeah, for Latin, me back by the Lato Kiwa. You need to be able to say, Ah, so so day two, I met the Lord. Oh, Latin, the supper, Lord, or the bye bye, Mobile Luapa day. If they ask you your birthday, surely you remember your birthday. You want to be a brother, or La Bio, that you are your daughter, be the day. You really meant the Lord is more important than your birthday. You must have a divine encounter. All those men you are reading about in the Bible. Is it Moses? Is it Isaiah? Is it Elijah? Is it Elisha? Is it Jeremiah? Is it Daniel? Daniel? They all had divine encounters. Unforgettable divine encounter. I took what you will And since that encounter, their lives never remain the same. Light it, but what you need, you really are here. You need a divine encounter. Oh, Nilo, Papa, they You need to be able to describe to people that see, I saw the Lord, I met the Lord. Oh, like they shall put you with a phone when you're quick. A key, see, Motibo, Lua, Christianity is not theory, it's practical, it's a spiritual thing. Eh, see, Christianity, of course, what I can know, we, oh, they want to finish it. As I'm standing there, as I close my eyes, I can still tell you what happened to me that day when I had my own encounter. I still remember it vividly. Be Motidro, the Wagin, Lua, Roy, Mole, Roti, Dara, Dara, Iriri, Etimoni, or Donot, him, no, Niba, I knew that one that day. I didn't feel like talking to anybody again. I just felt like locking myself up and not coming out to see anybody again. Lord, that is more so. More that they are making that tira me more than you. Oh, we will not hear any kind of one prayer. You need to pray for your life and for your destiny. I pray to you for that. It's by far here. It's far your more. My father, only Baba me. I want to encounter you. More than me, Baba. Let me have a divine encounter. When you have a divine encounter, most of the things you think are problems.
problems just fizzled away. Ni gba to ba ni ba pade atoke wa. I want to ro pe isoro ni loni. Won o se isoro. Many of the things that others are warning themselves they are running the rat race. You don't run any rat race because you have had a divine encounter. O polopo nkan ta won yan sare ba ti won si ni la kaka fun. Iwo o li ba won se tori o ti ni riri latoke wa. Isaiah said. Isaiah wi pe in the year that king Uzziah died. Ni odun ti oba Uzziah ku I saw the Lord from that day his prophecy changed his vision changed it was from that chapter they began to call him the messianic prophet because it's in the book of Isaiah in the, of all the books in the Old Testament and the gospel clearly preached Whatever prayer you need to pray to get to that level, we better pray it. During that divine encounter, all the questions you have piled up, piled up, piled up in your mind, Jesus answers them in one second. Just one second. I know a sister like that 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 an encounter. And God, she was she was praying, and God brought one man to her. Said, this is the man you are going to marry. Say, hey, oh this brother. I'm sorry, sir. Emma Bino. This one. Elehi. No. Rara. Ah. Rara. He's smelling. Oh. Not only that one. This is the poorest brother in this fellowship. No, no, no. Get, get me somebody else. I don't want to die in poverty. The Lord said, within the next so many years, we become stinkingly rich. Say, so, but your first few years will be very rough. Very rough. Try and cope with the rough years. And you are coming to enjoy. That's why she married the brother. <laughs> they suffered. Oh, the poverty was much. So much she could not even afford to buy menstrual pads. It was terrible. But right now, as I'm talking to you, they must have a minimum of 25 houses. All as a result of a divine encounter. Many of us are very lazy at the altar of prayer. The time most of us pray much is when we come to a meeting like this. To worsen our case, television has caused more trouble now. To make it worse, there is even Christian video now that people watch and watch and watch and watch. No time for prayer. It's not like our days when we were young. By 12 o'clock, the television stations have closed down. But now, 24 hours is on. Many plenty channels to watch from. And a lot of people are addicted to this. And the devil is rejoicing. Because we are not getting the encounters we need. It is not difficult to know a, to recognize a person who has had an encounter. You see a person does not have an you will know this one. This one. Sometimes they bring Pastors to me say, Gio, this one wants to be a missionary. He wants to represent MFM uh, somewhere. Send him as a missionary. They brought one like that. When I looked at him, he was wearing skin shoes. 
his perfume had overtaken all of us. This one missionary. Only say I didn't say no, this one can go. No, 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 don't send this one. Oh, they began to beg Joe, let him go, please uh, don't, don't look at this, that blah blah blah. Once you see, they sent the man. The man just went to that country, look for the best hotel and stay there. Until all his money finished. He didn't start any church. The hotel seized his passport. Then they started telling us, we have to pay. If not, they will lock him up. There is somebody here. If you can pray here today. See over the in your dreams tonight the angel that met jacob will appear and a voice will speak from heaven that was the encounter that changed the life of jacob which is what you see here surely the lord is in this place the third thing you need to do if you want to be a good student in the military school of the almighty your flesh must die this flesh mr flesh must die. Only Latiku. Paul said, Paul, we pray, but I put my body under. So bomb I bring it under subjection. Lest at any time after I have preached unto others I myself will be a cast away so flesh will push people into hellfire all the doctrines of family that some people find so difficult to cope with is flesh that is ruling in their lives all the worldly dressing all the worldly kind of attacks that people put on when they leave church is the flesh is the flesh those who put who are pushing their breast upward and pumping the breast to be big so that people can see it if that breast had crocro on it they will cover it I want to one man be a woman once that people buy that in my rich ones in fact my Toby to buy that paper for role a lot of power a lot of money more look best that people buy that ring now they are doing surgery to increase the breast they're doing surgery to increase bomb bomb is because of what the Mr. Flesh missing one way I'm I see I bet break your move on call it to be one I see I bet keep but I'm calling it to be but when he is a tyranny when a believer it's completely being controlled by Mr. Flesh. You're a useless student in this, in this of the Almighty. When what is cutting off your destiny is what you are putting on when your eyes are not open to see that the lipstick you are putting on your lip is placenta of some a baby that died something is wrong somewhere did you know that the attachment on your head is was taken from the head of another girl somewhere those of you who have read fairy tales you've read stories there is somebody in fairy tale called Medusa is one demon like this that has snakes all over the head. People do that in their head and they expect breakthrough. How? Medusa. 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 All the head of that woman is snakes, plenty of snakes on the head. It's flesh. Flesh. I don't know what's happening. What's happening? When you, when you see the opposite sex, your body will be shaking. Something is wrong with that flesh. Such people are useless in the training school of the Almighty. The truth is always bitter. 
But the truth cannot be destroyed. This is why many are weak. This is why many, when the enemy comes in their dream, they have no consciousness to say, Thus said the Lord. It is weakness. I it's weakness. Mr. Flesh has to die. If you are able to bring Mr. Flesh down, God can do anything with you. Because our greatest enemy is that flesh. Our greatest hindrance is that flesh. Is the enemy in our camp? Is the one harassing us and do kinds of terrible things to us? Very soon, like a a lot of people will begin to understand some of these things because the devil has sent his gear to gear five now and he's putting people in terrible terrible bondages as a believer who is in the light it is insanity to allow the way you run your life to be detected by somebody in darkness it is a terrible thing I want you to understand this very well understand it very very well the next thing you should do I want you want to become the a student in that school is be filled with the spirit receive the baptism of the holy ghost baptism with the evidence of speaking in tongues receive that baptism with the evidence of speaking in tongues the next thing you should do is that you should be an addict of the word of god read your bible know it understand it be able to meditate on it, quote from it. Eat, eat it like honey. And then, the next is that you must be a prayer addict too. A prayer addict. And lastly, you must be broken. Brokenness. When God says sit down, you sit down. Stand up, you stand up. When you say don't talk, you don't talk. When you say sit down here and be there for one week, you sit down. If he says, well, read this Bible through two times. Do, to, do so. You get to a place where you become a divine fool. Oh, Divine fool. Anything God tells you to do is what you do. Oh, you could be bothered about the opinion of anyone. This is how to be useful in the hands of the master coach if you follow these principles then you will not allow experience to become your teacher because experience is not always the best teacher because a person may not survive the experience this man has some deep deep prayers to pray here all eyes closed all eyes closed those of you you are here you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus just raise up your right hand where you are so that I can pray with you those of you raising up your right hand say this after me say father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life as from today I say bye bye to the devil I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Rise up on your feet now. If you pray the prayer of this morning, in a plastic manner, 
ni ono ono efe it will be a tragedy yo je ijambanla because already this place has been surrounded by the angels of the living God and there's a cloud of divine power overshadowing this place with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder you will raise up your voice like fire and like thunder the first prayer is a very serious one if it could happen to Isaiah it could happen to anyone here say this loud and clear power of Uzziah Hey, is that the ladders you can shout it? Covering my heaven. Jesus name we pray. Amen. 